welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. wonder who in South Carolina was the politician that thought of like uh the firing range was a good idea because uh yeah <laughs> bang bang hey man I, I the next, know, uh, depending on the crime I'm kind of cool with firing range damn right well look um this one inmate uh Richard I'm mad at no form of punishment I'm mad at how the punishment is determined like as far as like by the, the actual crime. process to get to, yeah. all right, you're the person that's convicted. Like, I want that yeah. to show it up so whoever gets convicted is actually guilty. But if you out here doing dumb shit, like as a former lawbreaker, you out here breaking the fucking law. Take your fucking consequence. Like that's the risk you take when you live that lifestyle. You know that it's coming. Yeah. I don't really yeah. give. I don't have no sympathy for that shit. Like. Everything I've ever done, I knew what could happen. And it was my job to make sure that I didn't get caught and I got away with it. Or that if I did get it, that I found a way to get out of it using the legal system. Fix the legal system. Yep. But I ain't about to sit there and get mad at somebody getting shot at the fire range and they done sat there and raped some kids or, or done did some fuck shit. Like, no, nah, shoot them niggas. See, this is the thing. I agree with you there, but this is the thing. I understand the death penalty. I understand it. I just don't trust humans because there's been so many times in our system that we've, we it's every day we get uh, a report that somebody is getting a certain amount of money settlement because they were wrongly jailed or wrongly accused of something and they were in jail for like years, like 20, 30, half their life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like- We're not saying that. I agree. I, I don't mm-hmm. think we should kill the wrong people, which is why I say fix this. System. Yeah. Like if they <clears throat> fix the way prosecution runs, the way evidence is handled, the way the corruption in the actual people who are picking these people up and, you know, policing the street, then we have no issue with a death penalty. I don't think most people really have an issue with the death penalty unless they're a person that just believes in no human should be killed. In which case, I respect that stance. Yeah. But like most people that's against the death penalty, it's because of shit like what you're saying, like where like innocent people are being put to death, yeah, put on death row. And in that case, again, that's why I say like fix the system. Don't get rid of the death penalty because we need some <laughs> to get rid of some of these crazy motherfuckers that's gonna kill everybody else, mm-hmm. like mass murderers. They need to be in front of a shooting range. Like whatever you do should be the way you die. You kill somebody with a full stick up the honey, that should be the way you go. Like, whatever it is, you take that. But these mass shooters, but these mass shooters are not even getting that there, though. Yeah, it's like a that, that, that's, that's, part the, of that's the that needs to be fucked up. Like, that's, that's what I mean. Like, we need to have an overhaul of the legal system and like the le- the legal codes. They're giving them Burger King and and saying, are you okay? Are you all right? They're trying to play them off like the heroes and stuff like that. All right, hey, fire and squad for them. I can understand that. They need a person like me somewhere in the judicial system to handle punishment. Person like me, we I'll gonna never do a crime right ever again. We gonna get you right with punishment because we gonna be real creative. You see me? We gonna be real creative with punishment. The prison is going the, the population gonna be cut in half real quick. You feel me? Real quick. Real fucking quick. Death row? Yeah. It ain't no long wait. We get you up out of there. You get on death row, you gotta you ain't even got a week to wait. They get you death row, you out of there the next day. The next day, we ain't paying even the tax dollars to house you. Who is? Next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next. Mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna wait the tax dollars for electricity. I'm gonna have the 40 cow waiting. Bring them out of the courtroom. Death penalty. All right, bring them out. Put lay the plastic down. Let's get rid of them. All right, next. Nick, <laughs> hey yo, you know how fucked up that is. You come to court and you <laughs> and it's sentencing day, and you like, oh man, 
I've been preparing for this. I'm going to be all right. I'm about to be down for some years. I'm going to be tough. And the judge said, hey, hey, Baylor, <laughs> lay the plastic down. <laughs> Nigga, what? Oh, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm right. Go get face. <laughs> lay the plastic down. Play the plastic down. We're going to let the execution. <clears throat> Rapists, molesters, all type of pedophiles. Take your body there. Yeah, bam, down. There. Brat. Yeah, get them all. <laughs> Automatic. Brat. Go. Automatic got to go. <clears throat> Automatic. Fear killers got to go. Mass murders got to go. Got to go. See, I'm not, I don't believe in using my tax dollars or anybody else's tax dollars to house people. Who are truly guilty? You feel me? You truly guilty, and you you did all these heinous crimes. Everybody giving you life. You still living. Everybody else dead. You supposed to be that's supposed to be a punishment. You live with what you thought. These motherfuckers don't care. They did that shit. And they continue on their life. They got a new life in jail now. They didn't get an education. They got entertainment. They, it, it, get the ass out of here. <laughs> Get the ass up out of here. <laughs> this up so, out of here. <laughs> so this guy, um, this guy Richard Bernard Moore, right, uh, who spent over twenty years on death row in South Carolina. Uh, he's he's fifty seven years old, and in less than two weeks from now, um, he was convicted of killing a store clerk in like nineteen ninety nine. Um, and he was the first person to be put to death in the state since 2011. He chose, instead of electrocution, he said both of them are unconstitutional, but he said instead of electrocution, he chose the firing squad. Okay. Um, um, you know, as long as he getting the hell about it, here, I, I, I'm be honest with you, man. I'm, I'm so fed yeah. up with the human race and the bullshit that we do. I'm like, yo, now, you out here my question. And, and fucking with folk for no reason. Get the rub out of here. Now, self-defense folk, I ain't got no problem with that. Like, defend your turf. But these folk that just be killing and shit, man, yo, get the fuck up out of here, man. It's been plenty of times I wanted to murk a motherfucker, but I didn't. Could have murked a motherfucker, but I didn't. So I don't want to hit nobody. Man, you, man, you out here doing stupid shit, man. Fuck about it, man. No sympathy for me. This is my only question. On the firing squad, are they doing traditional as far as everybody got a bullet? Or they do a new age? Well, they, it's a random one guy with a bullet and they don't know who got the real bullet. Uh, they have not described the like details of how they're going to do the firing squad. They just said, this dude going to die from firing squad, pretty much. And... Mm-hmm. And the once upon a time they had changed the procedure how they did it due to the psychiatric, like due to the effects of the people shooting. Mm-hmm. So I know they, they changed it to get more random sometimes. So I don't know they still do it. So they haven't had anybody die from fire and squad since 1976. Uh, just a tad bit of trivia mm-hmm. out there. <laughs> Much. Well, let's just say this: we haven't had nobody legally die by firing squads since then. Right. I know some niggas from the hood that, uh, for sure, for yeah, sure, for sure. Caught that squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.